Shrex workers of Reddit, what's your most awkward encounter with someone? One of my first out call bookings to a guy's home. I get there and his apartment is almost empty, with only a couple of pieces of furniture covered in plastic, a mattress on the floor and a brand new iMac also on the floor next to it. Everything was white and the guy only wore white. I was so sure I was going to be murdered, but it turned out the guy was just in one of those neo-Buddhist religion cult groups. There was a portrait of the leader above the mattress. The other notable thing was an Ashanti CD on the ground, surrounded by fairy lights in the shape of a heart and about 10-20 teddy bears. The actual appointment was normal aside from the fact that he tried to get me to join the religion. I was a tripper in a club close to the border of two states. People just traveling through end up there frequently. One night I sat down next to a guy and immediately realized it was my uncle who just so happened to be traveling through with a bunch of young guys on his crew. Wasn't like some distant uncle I've never known either. It was the I've known you my whole life and our families are really close uncle. We were both quite mortified and he left as fast as he could. I'm just happy I had decided the day to put more of a dress on and approached him before I went on stage again. Otherwise things would have gotten a lot more awkward. I was a tripper while I was in law school. I was at work one night and saw some of my male classmates. I was mortified at first, but tried to play it cool. Then after a few minutes, one guy said oh my god look is a THQT professor. And turns out our torch professor was sitting across the room by himself. Older man was looking for a lady for the evening and ended up picking me up. He got a hotel room, insisted I shower, then put on flannel PJS he had apparently already bought and had with him. Also painted my nails, no shreks, no drugs, held me until we fell asleep and paid for it when I got dropped off. Definitely not a usual evening, but not at all bad. I'm a call girl by the way. Had a customer who would always request to buy used condoms from me after I'd had shreks with another dude. He'd pay around $500 each one for me to mail them to him. I asked him once what he did with them and he said he would eat the um. I found it hilarious, but also wanted to puke at the idea of him eating another man's old um. I had a friend who a guy paid her to act like a dog, put a leash on her and everything. He threw money at her every time she barked. I used to work in a trip club, eventually getting into escort work. I didn't even do it for that long. But the nature of the business I have some weird stories. A very simple, but weird one. I was meeting a client at his hotel room. Pretty solid client honestly. I was giving him a B job when the door opens. I take my head off his dong. He pushes me back down. A girl walks in, and it's his wife. I'm fearing the worst when she starts asking him about their grandkids. Had a full conversation while I was blowing him. Then when I'm finished she offers me the same rate to give her a massage and go down on her. It was so weird how normal they acted and I was experienced by that point. The other awkward one was the guy with an adult baby fetish. We never had Shreks. He would pay me, dress me up like a baby. Then I'd act like a toddler for a couple hours. That was it. Ex tripper from the early 2000s there was a guy who would come into the club with this little white bichon type dog strapped to his chest and a baby carrier facing out, and he would buy dances with the dog on him. Another time I was doing my signature move during a lap dance, nipple twisting the customer in the best way and I realized my aim was off. I was toying with a huge mole. My favorite customer was a nice older widower. He would pay all the curvy girls to cuddle with him in the private booth. Nothing Shrexy, just really timid positions where he was being held. Sweet guy and he paid full price $30 song. I used to be a cam girl and the people that I would meet were so wild. One time I had a guy that just wanted me to watch him vacuum naked, but he was like 75 and overweight with a big nasty beard and had a beer in his hand the whole time. He put his cam in the corner of the room and every 5 or 10 minutes he would stop vacuuming and come 2 inches from his camera and say you still watching, in a super redneck voice. Laugh and I would say yep and he would continue on. One time I watched him vacuum for 2 hours before I finally became so bored I ended his private chat. It was some bomb ass money bug that shoot will drive you nuts. Second one is on me. I used to party a little too hard and one night while crashing from a speed bender I decided to get on cam. 
My laptop was sitting on my legs while I was talking to the room and had about 350 followers. Next thing I know I wake up and I legit fell asleep on cam for like 3 hours. The comments people were sending in the chat were so embarrassing and I literally could have died. Think I made it to like 900 viewers that found it humorous that I was head to the side sleeping snoring drooling. Didn't log on for a long time after that. Not a Shrek's worker. But I was with a buddy at a trip club once. My buddy is a middle school soccer coach. He was getting a dance from this girl. But he had a feeling he recognized her. He recalled her name as soon as she called him coach. My man stood up so fast the girl wound up on the seat on the other side of the private room. He comes up to me and goes we're leaving. He hadn't seen her for 7 years before that. But he still remembered the kid he once taught. Not a SW, but did do it for a short period a long time ago. Weirdest encounter was the creepy scoutmaster with rows of pop bottles in his hallway. Who had me suck him while he drank tea from one of those 70s brown glass cups and complained about how much I was charging. He sounded exactly like Ken Livingston, too. I came up to this older gentleman, middle-aged around 50. He said to me you don't know who I am do you? Me. Thought he was trying to flirt. And was playing along. Him? You were on my daughter's softball team that I coached you in junior high. Me? Not saying anything really awkward asking how she, his daughter, is doing. Him? Here's twenty dollars bucks if you leave me alone. I used to do a lot of phone shreks. One morning I was awoken around 600 by a phone call from one of my regulars as lawyer, asking that I sign a contract obligating me to effectively be her emotional support animal internet boyfriend therapist for a certain number of hours a week. Not shreksy talk mind you. Emotional reassurance and anxiety soothing stuff. Yikes. This thread has triggered some buried memories for me. I could write a book. One that I had long forgotten about. I was working a nice suburb of DC. The guy came to my hotel room and he looked and seemed normal at first. Then he told me that he's a germaphobe and asked me if it was okay if he wore a special suit that he had made. He had a latex suit with the hole cut out and he had a bottle of rubber cement to attach the suit to the condom. Essentially making a body condom. I had some strange encounters in NYC, but I don't have mental energy to type them out. Don't know if this classifies me as a Shrek's worker, but, roommate's friend paid me $300 to frick her. She was paying so. She got to decide what we did. Nothing weird. But I really enjoyed it. Super awkward, though. I used to do commission peeing. One guy was into sneezing, nose itching, nose rubbing, but he wanted it to look casual, unscripted. So I had to be very conscious and try to record myself every time I had a nose itch sneeze. Big money, but one of the hardest jobs. Former dominatrix. I think the strangest thing I've ever done that I could think of was show up to an appointment where a heavy set middle aged man was already in an adult diaper and costume pig nose when I arrived. Then ate out of a toilet bowl filled with Fruit Loops and piss. I once got with a guy off a sugar daddy website who had two main kinks water sports, and long foreskins. I kind of understood where the latter came from, as he was culturally Jewish and therefore circumcised, but I found it really quite awkward bragging about the length of my foreskin. You know? So for some context, I have a pretty terrible relationship with my dad. I blocked him on all of my personal socials at one point. Anyway, as it happens, I logged into my Shrek's work Instagram one day and somehow he knew about this Instagram account and had followed me, sent me a DM asking me to unblock him and also commented on a few posts asking me to unblock him. Signing off with love dad. Anyway, he's blocked there now too. I've never panicked so hard. Is he aware of the danger he put me in by announcing to my followers who he was? I think I removed the comments before anyone got the chance to see, but still. I've also never been more embarrassed. My father has now seen and commented on photos of my naked ass. I find most of the messages emails involved to set up meetings cringe inducing. Many of the guys will try to dirty talk you in very embarrassing ways, and over here I'm matching whatever energy they bring while feeling the exact way you do when you email your boss or co-workers. I lie for the clients who talk to me, as if they're scheduling a tattoo or dentist appointment. In fact, 
I only find that type of guy to be actually attractive, because I imagine he's a chill, maturer, good dude. The daddy's little hole let Bobby be why dummy thigh cc dudes are goofy as frick. A specific awkward moment I can recall besides it is one client gifting me his self-published book of advice. Though for some god-awful reason I kept it and let that thing follow me through three moves. I'm a pretty well-known Shrek's worker. This is my alt account. I have quite a few stories, but this one stuck with me the most. I had a guy Venmo $50 to add him on Snapchat, and he said would Venmo me money every day to talk to him. I agreed, because it's money in my pocket. I'd be stupid to turn that down. Well I added him on Snapchat and I saw he already sent me a video. I opened it up to find a minute long video of him heavily fricking his pillows and sheets. The video was taken from behind, as it seemed he propped his phone up. So all I saw was his hairy ass in incredible detail on my phone screen. Saw some a-hole too, and it was clearly not cleaned very well. It haunts me to this day. I got paid a little for Shrexting, and let me tell you, there's was a lot of ladies I was very concerned for, one particular we roleplayed about and says surprisingly her most mild kink, stabbing her womb with a needle multiple times, using blood as lubricant, and breaking her bones before, during, and after. Luckily unlike most clients, she doesn't want to try and meet me in real life, and I am relieved I could save myself from that talk, but the rest left me in therapy on that for a while. I also realized I've never talked about when I used Yobi Paid to do RP Shrexting. I remember the cool moment where a client wanted to do it over sending voice messages. She was awesome.